Good evening and welcome. And this evening we are going to play Viral by Alex Gillot and Bud's RPG Review. A available art by online. It's a fantastic Call of Cthulhu scenario about a group of internet ghost hunters who try and make it big by going viral. They're approaching their one millionth subscriber and the Spectral's crew, who you see in front of you, are ready to go and bust one of the most mysterious, spooky, haunted locations in the world, the Isla de Malamente. I don't speak Italian, so I apologize in advance for murdering your language. Uh, in real life, I'm CJ. I'm an academic parapsychologist who back in the 90s started working in paranormal TV. And for a short while, um, well, a few years in the 2000s, I was involved with a show called Most Haunted, which I was a researcher and appeared as an expert on a few times. And um, I was the series researcher for a couple of series. And as such, I have had many dealings and I have met in real life Zach Baggins. I have been on Ghost Adventures. I have done the Travel Channel shows. And I'm really, really sorry. My only excuse is that I was young and I needed the money. Anyway, now I'm old and my academic standing is completely, and my subject, which I love, parapsychology, is completely tarnished by all those dreadful TV shows we made. <laughs> so this is my revenge. And some of the people who watch this might know of me as the author of the monograph, The Parapsychologist Handbook. But um, I've been a long term enthusiast for Chaosium RPGs. And uh, I've written a lot of books for another sit for another game called Ars Magica and written on books for many other RPGs over the last 20 years. Right. I'm just going to quickly tell you who we have tonight. We have. Lloyd Graney, who's an IT professional from Cheltenham, who's a great guy and been gaming with me for 20 years now. He doesn't look old enough, does he? And he's playing Hayan, who is the technician. We have Anna, who's playing Karina, the psychic. And I'm pretty sure that you can tell that she's a psychic just by taking one look at that face. Enoch, who is the muscle, and he's here to protect the real talent, which is Marco. We'll come back to him in, in a moment. And we've got Peter, who is, oh, there's Peter, who's being played by Ed tonight, and uh, Ed Woods. And Peter is the uh, kind of runner. His job on the show is making sure everything holds together, running cables and doing whatever he's told. And we also have, um, as well as that, Marco Proudfoot. Now, Marco Proudfoot, as you can probably see, is the quintessential ghost hunting host. He's young, good looking, smarmy, overbearing and cocky. And I never got to be a host. I was always the hired talent or the person who I once almost got to be uh, the star of a very famous ghost hunting TV show until the producer, who was a lady, turned around and said, the head of channel actually turned around and said, CJ, we know you know more about the subject than anybody we've spoken to. We love you, but you've got a funny shaped head and you walk like a duck. So I'm afraid you're just never going to get the viewing figures. So that was the, the high point of my television career, being told I had a funny shaped head and walked like a duck. Anyway, enough of this. We are almost ready to go to the Isla de Melamente, where we will tonight be telling the story viral of spectral crews greatest finest most exciting moment <laughs> as we explore the island okay let's go to the island alexa make the light green okay the island mind has something of a reputation for uh, taking people in during the play it's the island of the sick Saturday, August the 24th, 2019. The weather calls for clear skies, though it's going to be hot and humid with temperatures around 75 degrees Fahrenheit, 80% humidity. It's extremely dark until the moon comes up just after midnight. At 7.40 a.m., the spectral crew arrived in Italy and they intend to spend the day on the mainland preparing for that night's live stream. It all went well. You met Nuncio, your contact, the guy who's bringing you over to transport you to the island. At 6.30 p.m., you loaded your gear onto Nuncio's rickety boat that will take you from the harbour in Perla out to the Isla de Melamente, 
Um, so let me try. And if you now wander over and have a quick look at the screen, you can, of course, read everything on my screen. This isn't very clever of me. Um, there's a boat. There's the boat. Can you see the boat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So this is the vessel that you are traveling to the island on. And this is just as you're about to leave Perla. It's fairly small. And Nuncio, he's in his 20s. And he's quite hard bitten. Uh, he's got a lot of tattoos, quite a few scars. And one of his eyes is he's slightly cross eyed. And you get the impression that he's probably taken a few too many blows to the head. But he seems really charming and really smooth. And he has, you are fully aware of the fact, I'm sure, that the island is actually off limits um, from, by order of the Italian Navy. And as you start to go across, you can see signs and you can see boys that act as a warning to navigation to stay away from the island. So we can start with a scene with you standing on the front of the boat there, talking to one another and discussing why you're going to the island and how you feel about it. OK, it's the sun is getting low. You're on this vessel. One, two, three, go. Well, folks, this is it. One last stream before we hit the big time. OK, and I'll turn on my camera. Trying to get a sense for this island. I'm not sensing any undead, um, but this looks like the kind of place that we should be finding something tonight. Oh, you heard what Maya said. This place is going to really blow things up. This place, like, you know, it's, it's just like I said. Like, oh, Vibes, Vibes, it's me, Maya. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Maya, can you hear me? You can hear you, Maya. I'm getting like, it's amazing. I mean, we're not even live yet, and we're getting so much, we're getting so many hits. It's like we're blowing up the internet, man. Marco, Marco, you're going to be bigger than, you're going to be an A-lister after this. You know, babe. Oh, no, skeptics, they're going to have to take us seriously. Do you know what I mean, Vibes? Actually, Bobby, this could be the, the biggest thing any of us will ever do in our lives. We're going to another spooky, we're going to a spooky island where everything goes bump in the night. And we're going to get some pictures of orbs, i.e. dust clouds. Amazing. Hey, man, you just, you just pick the orbs up and I'll film them. Oh, whatever we do come across, you want to be ready to film it. But honestly, I I sort of hope that this isn't the most amazing place we've ever been to because that could be creepy. We have seen creepy before. But this this could be dangerous creepy. See, I think uh, it's not working with your virtual boundary no. tabletop. I'm gonna have to close that off. Enoch, I'm trying to send you that pit that thing I just showed you. Let me stop sharing this for a moment so that. Can somebody else, Phil, can I give you the share? Is that okay? Um, I was just about to try that. I need to give you the, because otherwise you're going to see all of my secrets, which there are many of. Uh, hang on a second. I need to make you co-host, which means I need to work out how to. Hey, these things are said to try us. Stop share. Uh, Phil, your co-host now. Yep, that's fine. We can now see how to be a ghost hunter. Now, can you record or do I need to? Uh, I have no idea how to record. I'm recording. It's fine. That's fine. Absolutely fine. 
So you run from your screen, except I'm about to show you something that I don't want the others to see. So how are we going to get around that? I can minimize and look away. Yeah, we cover our eyes, that might be easier. Yeah. Focus on listening. The voice. Okay, can everybody turn away from the screen for a moment while I show Phil? I what? can't actually see the screen anymore. <laughs> oh, this is this is working the wrong way around. <laughs> Hang on. Phil, you can't see the screen anymore. No. Just says you're sharing screen and it's not giving me showing me what I'm seeing. Oh, that's strange. Okay. Um, who's going to be able to do this best? You could PM it to him. Marco, can you try sharing screen? Is that all right? Oh, I can have a go. Uh, one moment. Can we look back? Oh, go back now. I don't know why that uh, decided to do that. There is uh, something. You... It's very weak, but I'm getting um, I'm getting a sense. <laughs> yeah. It... Well, that proves everything, doesn't it? Enoch, I've sent you a message. It should be appearing now. It wasn't there before? Under journal. Marco, are you sharing screen? Oh, uh, not yet. Oh, do you still need me to do that? Uh, yeah, if you can. Let's see. You're the main man, after all. Oh, yeah. There are a number of voices. I think at least four, but they're very weak. Or they're not close, and I can't make out the words. The town of Perla is dropping behind you. I'll put a picture up. I don't know if you can see it or not. I have it. Hey, guys, anyone else see those uh, birds? Oh, no, man, I can't see the birds. Look, what? just over there. Yeah, I can see nothing. What the hell are you talking about? Birds, just what? over there. Me, what? I'm telling you, man, there ain't no birds over there. You sure? There's no birds. Must be seeing things. There's an island with some like houses on it. Wait, <laughs> wait. There aren't birds, but there are in the distance in that direction. There are spirits. I wonder if they're appearing to you as birds. Yeah, the spirits. It's been a long day. Between all the time getting through the airport, waiting for your guide Nuncio to pick you up, and the eight-hour drive to the picturesque fishing village of Perla, you were just about ready to collapse into a soft bed for a day or two. When you saw the island on the horizon, though, all thoughts of sleep evaporated in an instant. The town of Perla was deserted. The locals were observing an, obs observing an obscure local holiday called La Nota de la Matatatia, I can't say it, the Night of Sickness which involves everyone being indoors by sunset and protecting all their doors and windows with talismans to prevent disease from entering their homes. Your research, or rather Myers, suggests that the tradition dates back to the Black Death that wiped out half of Europe during the Dark Ages, though it may go back even further. Whether it's true or not, it makes a great backdrop for your live stream tonight, which is one of the reasons you chose this date, August 24th. Nuncio's got you all aboard his boat, and after a quick check to make sure no one's watching, he set course for the Isola do Malamente. Looking around your colleagues, everyone's nervous and excited. Suddenly, Nuncio cuts the engine. Oh, guys, guys. He doesn't speak good English. You know, okay. there's some of those, uh, oh. how do you say, boom, mines, mines here. Oh. Italian Navy left mines round it. They date back to World War II. It was a radio listening post, first used by the Germans and then by British intelligence. The mines were supposedly disarmed after the war, 
but at least two ships went too close and were crippled. Their wrecks are off the island. Since the invention of GPS, we know where the mines are, so we are not supposed to go through them. Some say the Italian Navy have added new mines, you know, after their raid of 1954 when they shut down the hospital and killed everyone over accusations of patient abuse and neglect. Some suggest the island was the site of secret military experiments to weaponize diseases, but the government deny this. Oh look, just ahead, if we touch that, we'll be blown to atoms. Wait, what, where? Me? Yeah, what, Why? He pointed. In the water, there's a black thing, a circular thing, bobbing oh. and it's got spikes coming off it and it just exudes an aura of dull menace hey karina get over here look over the side of the boat yeah down hey. there can you see any spirits down there thank you spirits for warning us about this no but i think the birds were trying to warn us i don't think i'm gonna do that because they have damn mine down there that's just a mine. It's not somewhere that people have died. No, the but we'll, people... it's, always it, bump into it. it's coming closer and closer to the boat. Yeah, but they say demons, so you hang around with destructive things like that. I'll get the broom, he says. And he hey. off, gets the broom. Hey, and starts what, what do you people think, think is more off. likely? That something that hasn't even killed even one person is, is surrounded by ghosts or that the ghosts are going to be more interested. Obviously the ghosts are going to be more interested in like the shrapnel of the mines have already blown up. Like, come on, dude. Yeah. Well, we could, we could get blown up by it and then we'd be ghosts and then there'd be ghosts there, but it wouldn't really do the show any good. I don't know. I think, I think a ghost run paranormal investigation that sounds like yeah. it'd make some money. Actually, Bob, if you all die, I think we could make a fortune. I mean, you know, just, just the news food. I mean, the amount I can make selling it if you get blown up by a mine. By the way, I suppose you better keep an eye out for the Italian Navy, because if they're really serious about keeping you off that island, the fact we're, we're you know, sending this out to almost a million viewers might kind of give the secret away a bit, you know? What are they going to do? They probably will eventually, yes. Nuncio's picking you up at one. Oh, I wasn't meant to mention his name, was I? You now realise that Nuncio's trying very hard to stay off camera at all times. Okay. And I, like, I, in in Italian, I uh, like I uh, I say to him, "Don't worry, buddy. This bit's not going on the stream." He gives you a big thumbs up, and yeah, gives you a a look of you know, don't betray me because I know people. <laughs> okay. One of the guys. We're through. Oh, we are through. Look. And ahead of you, you see the island. He's got closer. He's circling it and piloting the boat into the narrow gap between the main island and its smaller neighbour. Looking up, you can see there's a bridge connecting the two islands, known locally as the Weeping Bridge. There are countless strings, cords, and ropes hanging from it, looking unsettlingly like spider webs. And among them, you can see hundreds of small trinkets tied here and there through the tangled mess. Beat your head, everyone hang on. I'm gonna beat you. All right, you heard the man. Fasten okay. seatbelts. We are being warned that the Navy are trying to hide desperate secrets on this island. <sighs> Yeah, this is going to be the thing that, that brings us into the big time. This yeah, they, they hide them, we find them. Yeah. Yep. We must be blowing up some kind of conspiracy like almost a century old now. Yeah, There's be. a splash as he leaps over the side and pulls the boat up. Okay, we're here. I'm going to go. I will be back at one o'clock or about 11.30 our time. I will be back at one o'clock to pick you up. You will need to do at midnight your crypt witch board thing you have arranged. Um, it's all right, Nuncio. I've got it under control. These vibes, you know, you know, you can count on me, Maya. I'll tell you where to go and what to do. All right, you just you just do what's needed for the shoot. Yeah, 
Oh, and don't forget that they won't be able to hear my voice on the stream. So, um, hi, and you'll be doing all the technical talky stuff, yeah? Because I won't be able to keep interjecting because for some reason when I talk, just because I'm a black girl in a wheelchair, I guess, but at the end of the day, there just doesn't seem to be the kind of, you know, people don't seem to like me or warm to me the way they do to you, Marco. Well, you know what they say. Some people are just built different. <laughs> Clutching my witch board. I should have brought a pen. You hear a kind of suppressed gasp of irritation from the other end and a brummy, bit of brummy swearing as Maya turns her feed off. <laughs> right, all the equipment, sorry, all of the equipment is in the lighthouse. We have hooked it up for you. Hang on. You will need to go there and just do the connections. And then you'll have perfect... Uh, You'll be able to, you know, what's the word? Talk to your friend back in Birmingham. Is that the centre of the spiritual studies and the psychic world? It, I, I, I've been told, I've been told Birmingham is where fun goes to die. Where fun <laughs> goes to die? Oh. Yes. Oh, I need to get back to my family. They will be worried about me. Bye. And he starts to push the boat off. But firstly, he lets you all down. You've got your equipment. You're here. You can see the light boat. No, sorry, the lighthouse. So, te technical guys, over to you. Oh, and one, two, three. Okay. This is the spare limb, unwanted talent, Birmingham calling where fun goes to die. Thank you very much, you. Over to you, Bibes. We're going to go live in three, two. Oh, hi, Ian. We're getting messages. Hi, Ian. We're getting messages. Marco, ready to go? Three, two, one. Ready. My name is Marco Proudfoot, and we are the spectral crew. We go places and do things you would never do. This evening, we are broadcasting live from Sicily, the forsaken island of Malamente. We've managed to get to this forbidden place and are going to try tonight to push our subscriber counts over the 1 million mark. It's a warm and sticky evening here just off the coast. We've managed to find a way to get to this lost island to investigate the ghosts and demons that are reputed to be in residence on this cursed place, trapped in a hellish prison. As with our other live streams, we'll be doing shout outs and taking requests throughout the evening until we get to the witching hour where Enoch, Karina, and myself will be performing a seance on the altar that we have it on good authority remains here beneath the chapel using Karina's own special witch board. And if you, fo fo if you follow along, crewers, then we hope to conjure the spirits that are bound here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification icon so you get more quality Spectral Crew content in the future. Also, make sure to check out our top quality official merchandise on Zazzle. Now, with a bit of the history of this place, here's some VT. Okay, well, I better go head up and um, check any of the if the equipment's actually been installed correctly. Yeah, you go do that. Because we don't want to make sure that the, the stream doesn't halfway through the sounds, the stream doesn't suddenly upend itself. Yeah, you do that. In the meantime, so I, I start yeah. heading towards the lighthouse. Yeah. I have All already a been... very strange sense of being watched as if there was someone else on the island with you. I have a very strange sense of being watched as if there, was, there is someone else on the island with us. But I'm not sure they're alive. I think they may be a monk. That makes and sense. I got the, the NGO dude, he, he said we were the only people on the island. Now, where, where, who is this, who are these other guys? Like spirits or something? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. I could get more. 
if we have some way to lay out the witch board and, and properly let the um let the pointer move. Well, that'll, that'll have to be later, but uh, we'll get to that. The crypt is going to be soon. Yes. First on the list is the lemon grove, I think. We should try to understand what the poor souls have been through before we talk. Ian, are you walking down on your own to the lighthouse? Yeah, it's just a spooky island. I mean, all these all these nutters. Um, you think they've got <laughs> ghosts and stuff? It's it's just it's just the lights and the and the atmosphere and everything else. So what, what could possibly go wrong? So the sun is setting as you walk down. You reach the uh, steps leading in, and there's the main building. And uh, yeah, okay, you're at the lighthouse. The island's overgrown in an extreme state of decay. The paths and roads are roughly cobblestoned with occasional unidentifiable drag marks or dark stains splattered across them. There are oddly mutated weeds that poke out from between gaps in the stones and clots of black mould seem to grow out of every crack. Due to the fact that everything is unmaintained and open to the elements, all of the structures are crumbling, the wood is rotten, and the metal is rusted, pitted or tarnished. Every window is broken, leaving the floors covered in shattered glass. Anything made of concrete and brick is cracked and brittle at the edges, though areas still remain which seem solid enough. Surfaces are covered in an unidentifiable purple fungus with thin white veins. As you're walking down, though, you find something you didn't expect. Bomb craters, bullet holes and brass shell casings everywhere. Heavy fighting took place above this beach around the lighthouse. And as you approach, you can see that there are even machine gun holes, bullet marks where the stone of the lighthouse was chipped away by fire. Standing at the top, the rocky southern shore of the island, that of this type of the little island, is a three-story lighthouse on a crumbling concrete slab. The pale stone of the lighthouse is weathered, but looks as solid as if it was when it was built centuries ago. The attached building is still standing, though its roof is drooping slightly with age. Most of the glass of the lantern deck is surprisingly intact, and you can see the silhouette of an old World War II era radio antenna within. A stout metal door bears a yellow and black sign that says Ingresso Vitato. And below that, there's a smaller white sign that reads No sconfinamento por Adina della Marina Italiana. I can't speak Italian, so you'll have to forgive my awful pronunciation. A large modern padlock secures the only entrance to the lighthouse. Does your character know any Italian, Hayam? Nope. But I look for the rock with the white circle painted on it, because that's where the key should be. Sure. And immediately underneath it, there is a key. You walk over, and stepping through the doorway is like stepping into the past. There's a smell, which I smell of cross between vinyl, dust, and old leather. And looking around, you are in what was clearly once a radio operator's shack. There are, there's the radio gear still here with a headset hanging from a hook on the wall, a steel and leather office chair, rusted but functional, and tucked under the desk is a wire basket half filled with crumpled balls of paper. If it wasn't for the thick layer of dust and faint odour of mildew, this place could have been closed yesterday. Okay, also here uh, is your cabling ready to go. So... There's one door which enters into the base of the lighthouse. You're on your own. The sun is getting lower. I'm going to cut back to the others for a moment. Uh, Alexa. Uh, OK, the sun is really going down now. Marco, Karina, Enoch, Peter. Uh, Hyun's gone off on his own to the lighthouse. What are you guys doing? I am uh, fetching uh, the equipment to take down to the lighthouse. So you're just going to be carrying stuff down after him. Peter? Yeah. 
Um, I think I'm going to just follow Marco because, like, he's the main man, and I really respect this dude. Okay, he's, sure. He's just, he's just cool. You've follow got him. Marco um, because he's quite um, good at finding the interesting things that we should be investigating, and because the camera's probably going to stay on him with the episode. <laughs> Uh, and also, I'm not going first because I've got so much going on. Occasionally, I have to listen to additional stuff. So, you know, I don't want to walk into any um, physical traps here. Okay, if you look at the map that Marco had up a moment ago, you can see the drop-off point yeah. at the bottom. It's, it's called Myers Map. And there's the drop-off point, which is where you are. And you can see the lighthouse, and you can yes. see there's a cove, and at the far end, the weeping bridge over to the main island. Okay. Yes, By this I suggest going to the lemon grove first. Hyan, you've made your way through into the base of the lighthouse, where there's an open spiral staircase that reaches up through the floor to the upper level. The stairs are white stone. It smells comfortingly normal, actually, in here just dusty and abandoned, like so many abandoned buildings you've been dragged through by Marco. There's no sign of any environmental hazards like asbestos, etc. for once. Not even any rats or spiders to worry about. You going to make your way up? Yeah, why not? Oddly enough, the stairs still manage to creak, even though they're stone, but you enter an empty circular room covered with decades of dust and a few fragments of broken wood. On the far side, there's a second set of narrower stairs. This would have been the lighthouse keepers, you know, um, bedroom stroke uh, lounge. But the stairs that go up now will take you up to the lantern deck, which is where they kept the light going. So you push your way up the narrow stairs, which are covered in dust right below, and you come to the radio antennae. 1950s, you'd guess. Perfectly good shape, absolutely adequate for what you want. Two sets of cables up here on the lantern deck. One dates back to World War II. The other's much older than that, you'd say. And recently, someone's come up here and run cables through. There's half a dozen cables that are running from a steel box, atta atta box attached to the antennae housing down to a hole in the floor to the radio room on the ground room. You've been given a special adapter that can plug right into the junction box on the right side of the antennae. You've got enough cable to run downstairs with a radio with about 30 metres uh, left to spare. And this is the location. So if you put your main cellular router here, that will provide a Wi-Fi signal, which is good for about 300 metres. So you've got your subsidiary Wi-Fi units to put down as you go. But are you going to connect up the main Wi-Fi unit here? Yeah, certainly will. It's the most, most best place okay. to do it. Just do a straight electrical repair roll. So you'll need to go to the character sheet and pull it up and right click, I think. Oh, uh, it's a left click for regular rolls. Oh, left click. OK, right. You get it plugged in, drop the cables down. There you go. <laughs> OK, yeah. So not an opposed roll. It shouldn't be an opposed roll. It's just regular. Uh, yeah. Get it connected. And by the time the others arrive, you're already downstairs plugging the router in and to your delight, you don't even need a generator because there is still some power from the mainland coming out here. Really? That, that's a bit unusual. Yeah, there must have been cabling here, but they still use the light. They still use the lighthouse. Oh, the lighthouse is actually active, is it? Okay. Yeah, it warns people off the island. So, yeah, it's automated now, but the lighthouse is still running. That's the only reason why they have electric here. At least it will give you a light source when it gets dark, yeah? Yep. Okay, then. So let me just see if I can set something up. Um, the others have arrived at the lighthouse. You're all there now. All right. Um, uh, on the... Uh, like, um, on 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 the door, uh, can I can I see any um, 
well, on on the lighthouse outside the lighthouse, all the the like signs written in Italian. Would I be able to read those? Of course you can. Yeah. Excellent. You read Italian perfectly, so yeah. Marvelous. Uh, let me just see if I can find that. What what does the Italian stuff say then, Marco? Do not enter. No trespassing per order of the Italian Navy. Hey, that sounds pretty heavy. Yeah, well, if they really didn't want us here, why'd they shut it off? Mm. Must be there's something interesting here. And look at these look at look at these breast breast casings. Look at these bullet holes. A lot of fighting happened here. Karina, yeah. you feel any ghosts around this lighthouse? There is. There are graves not far away. And the monk has gone off. I'm not talking to any at the moment. This is the place. This place was designed, I think, to warn people away from the rest of the island. This would be the safe area because people used to work here. All right, so this is some kind of life place. That makes sense, yeah. Well, then. Sorry, Marco. There's no problem. Uh, let, let's see. Let's see if Jan's got got everything sorted out. Uh, yep, I put everything online. All, all the, the the stream is all up and running. No, it's working correctly. We've only got two hundred and forty-four viewers on the line. We've got several super chats all coming in already. The Frick Master is um. Wish this luck, $35. Scott Bronco, $931, $15. Ultima Oom. Good to see you back, buddy. He's, he's um, donated, donated £20 to the cause. And Seth from Texas. Not Haven't bad. seen you for a while, buddy. For $20 as well. And, and Paul BD as well, $50. Wow. Nice to see this, this coming in, folks. Maybe go somewhere even more interesting next time. Were you on this case? Case? Yes, this one. Oh. Well, you better stay tuned because there is definitely something. I take the case from you. Not right on this island. What case have you handed me? Enoch? A uh, random uh, one full of cables or similar. Ah, yes, the backups in case some, some of these failed. Yeah, we'll keep these here. Just in case we need any of them. All right. We're all set up then. Yep. Out okay. of interest, out of interest, all the brass that's on the floor from like combat, etc. Is it like old or look like it's got corrosion on it stuff? Or does it look like it's recent? Uh, what skill are you going to use? Think of a skill that would tell you. Appraise, archaeology. Yep, make an arco roll. Go for it. Uh, nope, waste of time. Or firearms, if you've got firearms. Uh, nope. Oh, yeah, handgun. That uh, handgun will probably work, actually. <laughs> handgun doesn't work. Well, this time. <laughs> can I roll history? They're uh, nine millimeter shell cases. You can try a history roll, go for it. Or an archaeology roll would be good. <gasps> doesn't tell you. Which board app? It's nine millimeters. I mean, it's a small handgun. It could be an Uzi. Okay. Anybody else got firearms? Want to try it? I uh, can. Might, uh, might as well have a look at it. I've got a handgun and a rifle shotgun. You've I'm got no at idea at all. Mark. Obviously, it's some kind of gun. Okay. <laughs> yeah. These are bullets from a gun. Yeah. <laughs> How do I roll? I've got firearms slash rifle shotgun 25. Just roll uh, it. Yeah, click on the um, the text rifle slash shotgun and then um, 
it should bring up a, a pop up that. Oh, sorry. Yes, I'm looking at uh, the PDF sheet. Give me more information. Um, I just tried rolling it. Didn't seem to. It brought up the whole roll thing thing, but it didn't. Uh, so uh, the no. Got roll. So I could do re regular roll card, and I got roll difficulty regular, bonus dice zero, and I just roll. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The um. Did anything happen? Oh, um, your first one did actually uh, come through, and it was an eleven. So okay, Peter, as you mentioned, the user, you'll know that from the nineteen fifties onwards, nine millimeter ammunition has been used by most submachine guns, and it could be a pistol or it could be a submachine gun, but by the amount of shells scattered around, this looks like SMG fire. And you get the impression that people landed where you did and advanced up the island, but as they did, they were taking heavy fire. The problem is that 9mm ammunition was not used by a lot of World War II weapons and the shells don't look corroded enough. So this is probably an exercise somewhere in time in the last 50 years. Yeah, well, yeah, SMGs weren't very widely used in the Second World War anyway, apart from things like Schmeisers and Stun guns and things. So, yeah. All right, so uh, got some kind of new ghosts then? Yeah, so. Hmm. Wonder if we'll see any com coming around. Someone's walking across the rocks behind you. You can hear the, the boots clattering on the rocks. Behind the lighthouse, if you look, there's a load of rocks in the middle of the island, and that's where you're hearing. Who's that? I say, and go out to look. No one. It's getting dark now. I'm sitting down and putting my hand over the witch board. You Do can we talk have a flashlight, so I, I assume so. Yep, we got flashlight. Have lights on the camera. Yep. Uh, I'll go out and have a look around with the flashlight. Whoever you are, I'm listening. All right. Karina. For a moment, you thought you saw someone standing ahead of you. Can I have a quiet word? Oh, with... it's there. Um, there is someone. No, I'm, I'm getting a voice. Hang on. I'm going to send a chat to Enoch. Mm. I'm, I'm trying to remember how to start on this. Here we go. Does that mean anything? I say to Marco, Marco, il prete. Does that mean anything? Uh, does it mean anything? Il prete Paolo. Ah, it means priest. Ah, excellent. Father Paul. All right. So, and, and he says that there is a madness, something which came upon them, like the Holy Spirit, but not benevolent. When they were tending the sick and many people had fevers, something to do with the... Did you get a message? Yeah. I come inside and very quietly say, we might have some trouble. There's a guy outside with his arms. Oh, that ain't good. Okay. As if, as if this unholy spirit wasn't enough. What you were trying to work... I, I think... I think Father Il Pete was trying to warn us. But he was not trying to warn us of a man with a gun. He's more concerned about the angry spirits that are here. Yeah. He tells us to go back. Well, oh, we're not... yeah. That SMG has uh, is a spiritual SMG then. Uh, oh, way, uh... Ives, Ives, I've just taken it to a VT. I'm doing a bit on the history of the island. Uh, are you all right, baby? I mean, Marco, are you all right there? I don't want some guy with a gun like shooting you guys up, you know. 
Don't yeah, we've dealt with worse. Hi, Ian, can you look after Marco for me? Okay. You see, I actually buy a bit. I quite like him, even though he's such a smug git. All right, back to the feed. Okay, people. So we've we've scanned this lighthouse, and we've found signs of battle, signs of recent battle. People were here recently, and they left casings and bullet holes behind, and who knows what else. Who knows what spirits haunt this part of the island? And the, okay. as if that wasn't enough. Uh, our expert is telling us about the, about the existence of some kind of counter god, some kind of counter holy spirit. What will we, f what will we find, dear viewers, Hi, as we adventure further in? Ifrita has gone now, but he warned us. He said he would pray for us if we died. But the last, the, they made the lighthouse automated because people were dying and, and going mad. He said we should not stay long. Uh, one of the super chats we've just got is from Sapphire Bodice 23. He's going to give us $300 if we tackle the gunman. <laughs> All right, you heard him. Okay. Let's do this thing. Yeah, let's take this dude on. Yeah, I can take him. I go to the gym at least twice a week. Okay. Don't know if it is some kind of counter Holy Spirit. That's just how it seemed to the priest. He blames himself for the death of some of his flock. That's why he stayed to warn people. Hey, Snacky says you can't be serious. Dirty Girl says, you are so dead, the Italians will shoot you all. Really? <laughs> I think the Italians would at least give us a trial. It's the angry undead that might be more of a problem. Hey, what about uh, angry undead Italians? Well, you would expect that in Italy, right? Well, yeah. Hey, uh, I head out of sight and take uh, a swig out of her uh, uh, hip flask. Hey, uh, hey e Enoch, uh, you br you bring uh, one of you you bring any uh, guns or anything around along for the ride? Uh, no, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> ah, shame. Karina might have something to prove tonight. As Pedro 54 says, she's full of crap. <laughs> Perhaps we'll have discoveries on this island that will prove otherwise. Yeah, let's. Yeah. So not everyone can see or hear the dead. Um, but we might well come across evidence on this island. I only hope that we all make it back safely. Oh, we have, uh, I have a night vision setting head cam. I'm going to try that as well. I set up my spirit box. What does the spirit box do, CJ? It is a radio that tunes into between channels and picks up, it scans through the channels quickly to pick up random elements of radio transmissions. And when you play it, so when you play it, the spirits can use it to talk to you. Oh, okay. Well, I should use that too. So it's not quite a radio for talking to God, but something like that. Okay. Might get more. Oh, I'll try that. The stream's getting a bit anxious, guys. I think we need to move on. Yeah, let's go. Let Marco lead us. Let's, let's, head, let's head up to the Lemon Grove and then on to the, sp to the spooky hospital. Yeah. We can take a, take a, a guy with a gun. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's do this thing. I think Who's the going hospital out first? Is Who's walking out of the door into the field of fire first? Uh, I shall. It's not there anymore, okay. Enoch. You can see where he was standing a moment ago. He must have gone. <laughs> I 
That's can another gun skit. The, sorry, can I see anything with the night vision goggles? Make a spot hidden roll. Okay. I focus the night vision camera on uh, Karina. Yep. Alexa, make the light warm. Mm -hmm. There's something white gleaming over there, and you think it might be metal. It looks like there's something laying there. White and metal over that way. Where the guy was standing by the cleft rock. Um, I'll turn my camera on with the torches on it, haven't I? So I if I go like over to it. The rock. Okay, uh, folks, let's take a put look. Put the camera on as I pick this up. Karina, yeah. make a sanity roll. Yeah. CJ, uh, as Karina is going over there, I will uh, challenge our Annika here with the uh, night vision camera. Yep. <gasps> How do I make a sanity roll? Click on sanity. Uh, sorry. Uh, strength, power, education. Where do I find sanity? On, on the le left hand side of the sheet. Oh, right, yes. Nicely done. Okay, there is a skull wedged under the rock, and amongst the bushes here, recently revealed by erosion, there's a skeleton wearing the tattered remains of a military uniform. This is a skeleton. Um... Hey. Oh, stop, stop, Bibes. We can't show human remains. No, no, no. Fade, VT, VT. Right. Camera, pan up. Camera, right. look at me. Look at me. Pan around on you. Right. We've got Marco, Marco, what are your reactions? This is this is like a real dead body you found. This, this is unbelievable. We've found some we found something. We found conclusive proof that tragedy did strike this island. I mean, we should have known that all along. I mean, we did, but now we have evidence. To, and I wish I could show you, but oh boy, they wouldn't like that, would they? It's, it's human remains. Do we have anyone here with medical? I mean, I know what a skeleton is when I see it, but maybe somebody who could tell us how it was killed. We got it. All, all I can do is sit down with the spirit box and the witch board and see if it wants to talk. Okay, folks, anyone got any uh, medical knowledge or we gone straight to ghosts? Let's go straight to ghosts, but looking at it, it looks like the same guy as, as I saw, except for with uh, less skin. Same uniform, anyway. Well, you heard it here, folks. Looks like the soldiers that died here are still guarding this place. What do you think they're hiding? I, I go over to the body, and I see, what, what, is it Italian, German uniform? Uh, I tell me the markings. I can attempt, I will roll the dice. No. Yeah, it's it's a dark green uniform. You are not sure. Um, are you going to search? Are you going to try and look at the body? Has anyone got archaeology? That would be handy. Um, one percent. Yes. Yeah, one percent. Um. Good yeah. uh, Oh, so so close. This might be a good time to mention the luck mechanic if you wanted to, like, yep. if you wanted to spend luck to succeed on this. You could spend five points of your luck, reduce your luck by five, and succeed. Enoch. You might need uh, it. Yeah, let's do that then. <clears throat> sure. Okay. You happen to know a bit about military history. It's one of those, you did a bit of wargaming when you were young. It was mainly yeah. Games Workshop, mainly Orcs, you know, stacker, stacker, stacker. Uh, but this is a World War II, post-World War II, Italian army uniform. And it looks to you, as you're looking at the bones, you know enough about forensics to know that the guy had his throat cut. Because 
probably by somebody grabbing him from behind because the front part of the vertebrae of the neck have been partially severed and you can see the knife cut. There were two knife cuts. Uh, if he was stabbed, you won't be able to tell because, but there are some bullet holes around him. And the thing that really strikes you as weird is no military force abandons their dead. No one leaves the bodies behind. But this guy was just abandoned within 20, 20 yards of the beach. You know, one, 12 seconds of running and they could have dragged the body onto a boat, but they left him here for some reason. This, this ghost this, isn't talking. This is weird, though. Even Italians will pick up their dads. They're not that cowardly. <clears throat> I'm getting a sense of go away. But he's not speaking. <laughs> not even in Italian. Enoch, can you go to chat a moment, please? Just going to send you a message. Do you have any other message for us? Do you want to tell us what happened to you? Can I make a charm roll? I'm a yeah, ghost. Frankly, I haven't got a clue either. I'll take a swig. Uh, that should have worked. 37 of 6, 70. I've only got to roll under, right? Yes, yeah. I know, but... Uh, he's a good looker. Yeah, you're right there. What's up, like Can you hear the ghost talking? We can't force oh, traumatize. No, them. no. Uh, just talking to myself. I'll turn the camera on to you know, and then back to Marco again. It's well, okay. Well, you know, doesn't found anything. It's yeah. Okay. Uh, does the ghost have anything to say to me now? No, but you feel an icy, like an icy cold wetness pass over your bosom. Where? Imagine somebody dropped a, a wet jellyfish on your bosom and cupped each boob. That's what it felt like. Um, I'll see what I can do. All right. Uh, you were right yeah. about this place being different. It's giving me the creeps. Tell me about it. This place is haunted as shit. We are going to see so many strange things here. And hell, this is this is like Italian military military base World War II. Who knows what, what weird access experiments we're gonna find in here? Yeah. Could this be is like gonna be military stuff in here, maybe. Oh, stuff that uh, what's his name? Uh, Mussolini. Maybe he can. He maybe he did stuff here. We're gonna find zombies. Is that what we're after here? Maybe zombies. Maybe demons. Maybe they're trying to summon some kind of ancient god thing. No, I wouldn't mind some nice, friendly ghosts. Okay. <laughs> and I don't think this is the best place to find Casper. You know what I mean? Well, anyway. Body found. Can't really do anything about. Can't really show any more than that. But we know some messed up things happened here. Yeah, now, sure. Yeah. Our next stop, unless we want to make a stop, stop off by the cove, is Weeping Bridge, which we'll have to cross before we can make it to the main island. And we've got a couple of them for the super super cats comes in. Um, Dr. Giff has given us eight dollars. Uh, Lucy Goosey has given us five dollars, and, and Evil Dude sixty nine has given us two dollars. Thank you very much, guys. You might want to check the chat as well, Lloyd. Yep. 
And Yvette Snicker says a ghost has grabbed Karina's knockers. Yes, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. And, Fla and Flannel54 unfortunately has been kicked out for rude behaviour. Guys, <laughs> go try to keep the stream clean, please. Yep, no, not only is this place haunted, I didn't it's go haunted into by perps. Specifics, I guess you could just see what was happening. And she could. All right. Let's move on then. Yeah. Um, who's good at climbing across bridges that might be broken? Well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty strong. I can, I'm pretty good at climbing. Super. I can do it if you, if you're too scared to. Um, <laughs> it's not quite my thing, testing unstable equipment, but you will do it. So are you, where are you at the moment? I'm a medium, not a military soldier. We are, on our, we are heading towards the Weeping Bridge. Okay, Marco, move your token to where you are. Are you going uh, through I, the road, or are uh, you going on top? Um, I'll think about that, I guess. It's a, it's a bay. Or you can just walk along the path along the top, which is straightforward from where you are. All right. What's going to be the spookiest place? Karina, are you feeling more ghosts from over the top or through the cove? I'm feeling them on the other island. All right, then uh, yeah, over the top it is. Let's get right to that island. Cut to the heart of the matter. Um, there's something in the hospital I'm a little reluctant to go in there to be honest but you must well no one ever said hunting ghosts was easy mm. right, and Maya says get on with it guys <laughs> yeah. how many times are you going to say that this evening I, I, I've, I've got first dibs on $20 at least 100 times yeah. well you heard the lady Let's get going. Okay. Uh, do you, want me okay. To you make your way along the tops of the bridge, don't you? Give me a second. I'm, I'm filming Marco as he strides bravely and heroically onto the bridge. <laughs> You're following him bravely and heroically onto the bridge. Okay, cool. I am uh, <laughs> following uh, Marco, but walking back, uh, filming uh, Karina. I'm holding on to my equipment um, and attaching it to straps in case I fall, because I'm not having this broken. Especially okay, where it might you... be life or death, I say out. There's the bridge. Can you see it? I can see it. See it. That doesn't look too bad, actually. For um an abandoned island. Are you sure? It doesn't look that safe. <clears throat> no. Well, you were expecting uh, and, uh, safe? And the head hanging from the um, bottom right hand side? It's just a doll. I yeah. slapped the doll head. <laughs> it was. Because all the fixes as well. Mm. I look at the head at the side. It is just a doll, right? Uh, that's that uh, Italian thing. An Italian thing with the driving away the spirits or something like that. Mm. I walk over to the pentagram, take it off, and throw it into the uh, sea. It splashes into the waves below. And the bridge has clearly seen better days. It's made of a simple cast iron design that was painted green at some point, but is now made brown with rust. Constant exposure to sun, sea and wind have caused the paint on the metal railings to chip and fade. The wooden planks of its surface are heavily weathered. They seem more or less intact. Hanging from the railings and structures of the bridge are dolls, hundreds of them. Some are more modern plastic ones, while others from ages past have faces made of porcelain and cloth, their eyes staring passively into the darkness. 
A few are complete dolls, but most are missing limbs and clothing, while still others are simply hollowed out heads with missing eyes and straggly straw-like hair. Mixed in with the dolls are other more abstract creations of sticks, string, sinew and bones. The shapes include some vaguely human looking stick figures like those you might see in uh, the Blair Witch Project. And there's also symbols, crosses, stars, but many of the symbols you don't understand. Father did say that some of the monks went crazy and that there was some kind of evil spirit here. The entrance to the bridge has a makeshift shrine built on it, uh, using driftwood and local sticks woven into a crude structure. Within, there are laminated pictures, all depicting babies and toddlers that have faded over time, though some can't have been here more than a few weeks. Also, there are children's toys, handwritten notes in Italian, a statue of the Virgin Mary, various little plaster saints, shriveled and dead flowers in jars, and the remains of countless candle stubs. All right. Mm. And here we are at Weeping Bridge. Who knows what horrible things happened here that caused, that caused the monks to tr try to, you know, make this place so creepy. Cover it in dolls, cover it in holy symbols and prayers. Okay. What do you think they were praying to? Can I make a, an occult roll to see if, uh, if I think that holding on to something like um, a happy memory would help? Enoch, message. Okay, yeah, make an occult roll. Enoch takes another swig out of his uh, hip flask. That's much better. You feel much better now. Yeah. Go on then, Karina, roll. You haven't got a clue. <laughs> I oh, have wait. not come across this sort of thing before. Right, let me oh, see if oh, I can figure Italian. this out. Hmm? Marco speaks Italian, doesn't he? I do, yes. I don't. They are prayers for babies and children to recover from various ailments, invoking the saints, but curiously also asking the monks of the island to protect the children. Are well, prayers for sick kids? Prayers to God? And prayers to the monks themselves? Karina, you completely failed your occult check. Can everybody else make a spot hidden roll, please? Okay. I can certainly try. Nope. <laughs> yep. Oh dear. Peter, can you make a luck roll for me, please? Well, I didn't see what happened then, but okay. You rolled a hundred. Oh, that's Ouch. bad. It. Yeah, um, not great. Uh, damn. Uh, yeah. Where's, where's luck on this thing? Anyway? It's on the uh, just above your hit points on the left hand side. What underneath the hit points? Uh, above the hit points. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. How do I roll that? Oh, yeah, click the word luck. Yeah, not click the word, got it, yeah. Uh -oh. There's a shout as Peter slips and starts to fall. A moment later, you hear the splash as he plunges into the water. Oh no! The mouth gave way under his feet, and he's fallen into the sea. Does somebody have a rope? Right, we gotta get him out. Peter, we your camera and your torch are no longer working. Ah, oh, god damn! <laughs> your electronic goods you are carrying which if you go to gear and cash includes head cam, night vision camera, satchel, 
thermal attachment and the EVP repeater recorder are all soaked. Oh. Actually, yeah, can, I, can I look down with mine and see if I can see where he is and describe it for the others because I've got a night vision thing. See you later. Can you feed the cats? Okay, yeah, oh, he's, 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 he's in the water drowning. Uh, we yeah, need to get out. a boat for him right away. Can we call somebody? Because we're not supposed to be the damn island. Get me out of here. Can you get? Can I try psychology and encourage him to swim? Help. Um. Yeah. Sure. You 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 make encouraging noises. Peter, make a swim roll. <laughs> and give on to one of the supports. Can I can I go back to the lighthouse and try and fashion some kind of rope out of all the cables we've got? Can't find anything else. So you're running back to get the cables, okay? Yeah. Uh, actually, no, actually, no. Is there is there any rope in all this? Yeah, there's loads. If you could untie it, are you going to start yeah. untying the ropes from the bridge? Yeah. Ooh. Next one. They're not going to like that. You finish untying the rope, sending crosses, crucifixes, and dolls plunging into the water. And as you're doing it, can you make me a luck roll, please? They're not going to like that. There's a load of splashing, and then you turn round, and Peter is standing behind you, shaking himself, having pulled himself out of the water and swum back up to the top. Okay. Oh, how is that? I. I look, I look I look into a camera. Well, how is that, people? We've just had we've just had a near death experience on our hands. Clearly, whatever's here does not want us here. But we're not gonna give up because we are the spectral crew and we do things that you would never do. Yeah, and basically stick to the middle of the bridge because quite clearly those green patches on the side are quite clearly slippy. <laughs> All right. All right, everyone. Careful now. Careful. Does the, the does the wood of the bridge seem like it would like withstand human weight? It looks like it might. Yeah, it's hard to tell because you all failed your roll. That's uh, fair. I have a message just come in, Ian. Who was it who was untying the knots? It was Ian. I'm going to keep an eye on Hyan. And Juniper Joe will give $50 if Peter jumps off the bridge. Really? We're well, it looks like we're getting that 50. Yeah. We're here for more serious things. We might damage our equipment. Hey, Peter, you're right. Yeah, I just went. Oh, my equipment's ruined. Oh, God. Well, that's why we do have a few spares, but give us it here. I'll see if I can um, try and drain yeah, some water out of it at least. There's a gonna... moment. I, I put my. There's something down there, I say, looking down into the water. Yeah, halfway put down the camera. Kitchen. And there's a kind of. um. Luminescent greenish glow in the water. And Hen Henrietta Haggis will give $100 if Marco jumps off the bridge. 125 if he does it nude. I don't think we can show that on TV. All right, let's see. Um, that's that's going to be the special access pay per view, is it? <laughs> I don't think we're allowed to. I don't think we're allowed to show that kind of thing on this stream. And we're not allowed to. We're not even allowed to show human remains. You know. This is haunted by monks. We probably should be careful about the, being disrespectful, like nude jumping off the bridge. Yeah, that's I and mean, that's the kind of thing that's going to take gas taken off air, right? Yeah. <laughs> but hey, one way or another, we need to cross this bridge. Who knows, depending on how strong the wood is. Okay. Might just, you might just get your wish. Uh, dear viewer. Uh, 
our spirits. Please let us pass in peace. Spirits, please let us pass in peace. We come to see, not to cross you. We come to see and to hear your messages. We mean you no harm. All right, I'm ready to go. I don't know if that worked. All right, let's do this. Yep. Uh, hi, I'm going to try and see if we can dry out some of Peter's equipment, see if we can get it back up and running again. Okay, Peter, you can hand equipment over by going to gear and cash, right clicking on it, and putting hands to high on. Uh, right. There should, there's a way on there by which you can hand it to someone else. I can't remember what it is. Uh, it's the first one. Trade and store yeah. item. Yeah, so hand him an item so you can have a look at it. Which item are you handing him? Uh, the... Uh, the uh, uh, Cameras and lights. You know, can I get down on one knee as an adult would talking to a child. What's the matter with this one? Uh. Charm roll, Enoch. That <laughs> fail. Uh, CJ, uh, none of them seem to want it. Says which character would you like to give them? Says item two. I try and drop down many. Don't worry, just tell them what you're handing over. That's fine. What are you handing okay. over? Uh, the wet stuff, basically the EMF meter, the EVP recorder, uh, the thermal attachment, the head cam, the night vision camera. I suppose those are things. Well, choose one of them for him to start with because he's going to take a while to do each. The uh, night vision camera. Okay, so Peter is handing you the night vision camera. Okay. It's now on your list. Okay. It's got a thermal attachment attached to it. Right, as you've had a few seconds to do something, I'm going to just let you, I'm going to see if you're going to be doing this while you're walking, make an electronics roll. Do you want to work on the camera or the thermal attachment first? Yes, well, it's, I can't get the camera working, the thermal attachment's a waste of time, so. Yeah, electrical repair on the camera. Would it be electronics? Doesn't matter, so. It's, it's, it'll be electrical repair, I think, on this because it's. Oh no, it's electronics. You're right. It's a camera. Yeah, go. Ah, you take the dried rice out. You keep for these kind of situations. It's waterproofed. Basically, the only problem was that the area between the lens cap and the lens had actually filled with water. You clean it out, fire it up, take the battery out, make sure it's dry, and hand it back to him. Working fine. Okay. You can start working on the thermal attachment next, but we'll leave that for the moment until I tell you you can make another roll, yeah? Okay. So what are you going to do now, guys? I uh, keep listening. Lucy Lee will give us $200 if Marco strips naked. And he says that, and, he, and high on walk across the bus, across the bridge. <laughs> You walk across the bridge, and as you do, you see at the far end of the bridge, there's something unusual. You've not seen anything like it before, so I'm just going to pop it up for you to look at. Um, okay. oh, hang on, let me try and... Where is it? Um, I'll show it to everyone, that's going to be easier. Go for it. Far end of the bridge. And they appear to, appear to have discovered some kind of occult symbol symbols in the um, ground at the end of the bridge. Right. If I've got the camera working, I'll zoom in on that, CJ. I'll just like get the thing looking at it, camera pointing at it. Sure. And Marco, and then back to the, the, the thing again. Obviously. You're getting right. a a lot of excitement now. People are very impressed by this. Um, I will um, carefully swipe away some of the um, 
dirt on top of what's clearly a larger symbol or tiles or something underneath. Come across the bridge carefully. It groans and creaks, but you get across safely. Enoch, you're being held back by you know what, but everybody else is going across. Uh, I will go across, but uh, my hand is uh, down by my sides. It's also like uh, uh, a dad uh, taking his uh, daughter uh, for a walk. As you reach the far end of the bridge, they stand and look at you with pleading eyes and hand out their hands as if to say, don't go, don't go. They look frightened at what lies beyond, but they will not pass beyond that symbol. I waved him goodbye. Marco, come on, you're in charge here. What Let's happened? go. Let's do this thing. And... Hey, I don't know how much I'm allowed to show, how much skin I'm allowed to show on camera, but if you want me to get naked, we can get started with that. <laughs> Give people what they came to see. I think what they came to see is the ghost. <laughs> well, the, the, record, the record from the last stream was $1,000. <laughs> Mark has to get naked at some point. Yeah, but... You that might be that you need your own five fives of blood to a bt marco cannot get naked again no nipples it gets us banned in 26 countries about Put you your jacket back on marco peter you're going to catch your death of cold don't you have any dry clothes i must have i must have somewhere um you had some in your backpack anyone have some yeah, i'll get some out uh is there somewhere i can get more than here I don't want to get no one's asking me to get naked on TV. Where, where, uh, where's someone that I could dry get some clothes on? Okay, guys, we're going to cut to a uh, we're going to cut to a commercial break now. Three, two, one. Plus, if you see a ghost, well, we'll see if that happens during the course of the night. Hopefully, we're able to demonstrate that we actually know what we're talking about. And twenty-five dollars if Karina gets possessed again. <laughs> oh no! I would pay more than twenty-five dollars not to be possessed again, but um, we appreciate you watching. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, yeah, what the hell is this symbol? Some kind of tree? Some kind of DJ, I made an occult roll to find out what the symbol is. What is it? Karina has a message in chat. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Yes, so this was uh, put down by some of the surviving monks in order to keep the um, evil menace from getting to the other island. And I thought it was for the lighthouse keepers, but it's earlier than that. It's actually, um, it would have evacuated some people onto the, uh, and, and via there onto boats. And really? Yeah, pretty, pretty. But it, it is a ward. And also, guys, I hear you guys are on, on the chat and the feed. Yes, um, we haven't heard from Emily tonight so far either. I hope she's okay as well. She is one of the two other super vans of this channel. Yeah. Look, look to the camera again. I hope she's all right. Well. Some chilling stuff here tonight, folks. Across the bridge, found this symbol. Something meant to protect this place, keep things in. What is it keeping in, though? We're going to find out. Uh, just so you guys know, I mean, we do want to do this, but we are on the wrong side of the protective wall.
And hey, you don't get famous without taking a few risks, do you? No. We're going to be all right. Trust me. We'll be I've never stood this long before. It'll be fine. Yeah, let's go to this lemon grove. Want we'll to see what these Sicilian ghost lemons are like? Sure. You walk over to the lemon yeah. grove. Oh. There is one. Suddenly, lemon. you all hear something shouts and the sounds of gunfire. It sounds really distant. And then a dull bump like a grenade. And then a screaming noise like jet fighters burning overhead towards you uh so take shelter camera up and sit to see where the jet fighters is there anything we can hide under yep you could run into the lemon grove and hide amongst the trees that would make sense or you could just dive down on the beach and keep low what do you want to do um i'll head it to the lemon grove lemon grove to the grove yeah. okay move all your characters over to the lemon grove guys there anything stone in there? I'm hiding under that. Okay. Has the Navy found us already? As you Damn. run across, you realize that the sound is fading and then it disappears. E Hyun, I am now configuring another one for you to be able to read. You have another set now. We'll all hear that. Okay. It's called High Lemon. For our viewers, we heard um, the sound of uh oncoming aircraft it sounds like it could be shooting things we we didn't hear nothing here vibes sorry vibes but i didn't hear it we couldn't hear it hi we all ran. coming through though all loads of messages we all ran for cover thought it was the italian navy if it that didn't come through that means we're seeing more ghosts Okay, and the super cats appear to be blowing up. Apparently, they all want us to eat a lemon. A and, 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 and Ultima Thumb will give $150 if Marco bites a lemon. Okay, you're looking at a lemon grove, but it feels more like a cave with the upper branches forming a dense canopy overhead. You're immediately greeted by the hazy buzz of insects, the sweet smell of citrus, and the stench of decay that catches in the back of your throat and sinuses. The grove is wild and unkempt from years of neglect, yet most of the trees are still heavy with what appear to be lemons, though some of them have grown unsettlingly large with strange deformities. Some are the size of human heads, while others have strange tendril-like protrusions from them and twisting curls. Other mutations give the lemons tumorous growths that appear almost translucent. The leaves on the trees seem strangely discolored and misshapen. And in places, the bark is peeling to expose the wood underneath to the point where they seem like open wounds. The floor of the grove is covered in decaying white leaves that squish soggily beneath your feet. Every step releases a small puff of grey mist that stinks of rotten fruit. CJ, I rolled a nine on a farming check to work out uh, what is going on with these plants. Make a sanity roll. Yeah. You really don't want to wait on this checks in this system. Uh, think I'm fine. Okay, they are taking nourishment off something really unpleasant. Mm. 